Welcome to How to Cook That. I'm Anne Reardon and today I'm doing a stop motion challenge. You asked me can I make an entire video in stop motion so I'm going to try and do that while making a giant ice cream sandwich. Let's see how we go. The first step is to figure out how much ice cream we need. So measure how many litres of water you need to fill a round cake tin and then multiply that by one and a half to see how much ice cream you need to buy. Empty and dry the tin and line the base and the sides with baking paper. Then fill the tin with vanilla ice cream, squashing it down to make it level on top and then put that in the freezer. Step two is to make giant chocolate chips. When I made the miniature ice cream sandwich, lots of you asked where I got the miniature chocolate chips from. Well, I made them, of course, by piping chocolate onto some baking paper. But to make giant ones, we'll need to use a mold. Place lots of chocolate into a bowl and melt it. Then cool it down and temper it. And I'll link you to the tempering video below for those of you who don't know how to do that. Fill the mold with chocolate and place it in the fridge to set. Once it is set, you can just tip them out of the mold and now you have giant chocolate chips ready to go on your cookies. To make the giant cookies, we need to place butter, brown sugar, and normal sugar into a bowl and mix them together on low speed until it's smooth. Then you wanna add in your eggs and mix that until it's combined. And I'll put all these recipe quantities on the howtocookthat.net website and there's a link to that below. Add in the flour and the vanilla and the baking powder and mix that all around. Then line a tray with baking paper and add half of your dough on top. Use some flour on your fingers to smooth it out and make it a nice circle and chop a couple of your chocolate chips in half. Arrange some of them on your cookie and then bake that in a slow oven for a long time so it cooks all the way through to the middle. Do the same for your second cookie. Then once they're baked and cooled, they'll look like this. And to give you an idea of scale, this is a normal cookie. Now look at both of your cookies and decide which one you like the best. I like this one, so we'll use that for the top. Take the other one and trim off the tops of the chocolate chips so that it will sit flat. Put a board on top and flip it over. Then take your ice cream out of the freezer and pull the paper to loosen it from the sides and then turn it over and shake it until it falls out. Place that on top of the base cookie and peel away the paper. Then simply add the other cookie on top. How awesome does that look? We will be eating this at Jed's seventh birthday party, which means my website is now seven years old because I started it when he was born. That's just crazy. Click here to subscribe to How to Cook That, here to see some of my favorite videos from the last seven years, and here to see the latest video. Make it a great week, and I'll see you on Friday.